I'm Mike Stanton. It's October 6th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update here with Brian Babler from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Brian, thanks for taking some time today. Uh, slightly less volatile conditions coming into Friday, but then we got a very strong jobs report and uh, yields started moving higher again. What did you see? Yeah, it's really been a rough week uh, for rates with the exception of a little bounce on Wednesday. Uh, we really just continue to see a sell-off in the rates market, um, and it's it's gotten pretty substantial. As of last Friday, the 30-year U.S. Treasury closed around a 470, and uh, after the jobs number this morning, right now it's about a 498, so down about 28 basis points. Uh, similar in the 10-year space, last week closed at a 457. We're, right now we're down about 25 basis points at a 482, uh, the, and then shorter in the curve, five-year, is only down about 17 basis points and the two years is, is really only down four basis points. So we're really seeing a kind of like a bear steepener uh, in the treasury curve. Uh, on the muni uh, side, uh, you know, munis have really outperformed a little bit. We're down a little, but not quite nearly as much. Uh, they're expecting probably call it another two to five basis point cut in the MMD curve today. So with those adjustments, we'll probably see the muni curve down, you know, anywhere from five to 10 basis points or so. Um, munis are down, you know, call it two to five uh, in various spots, and uh, and we're expecting some cuts today. So a little bit of outperformance, uh, ratios richening up a little bit, um, but, uh, but really, you know, kind of a, a continued uh, tone in munis that we've been seeing for the last couple of weeks. Uh, as you mentioned, that that change in non-farm payroll number really surprised to the upside. Uh, it ended up coming in at 336,000 jobs versus 170,000 estimate. Um, and we we did see unemployment slightly higher at 3.8%, uh, and average, average hourly earnings uh, down a little more than anticipated. But I think that non-farm payroll number really kind of Took the market by uh, by surprise, and uh, you know I, I think the tone continues to be a higher forever, if not higher for longer. Uh, so uh, so it feels like higher rates are are definitely here to stay for uh, for some time. One interesting piece of the trend, though, that's been talked about is this idea that with the long end, uh, with yields going up on the long end, that might serve as enough of a break on the economy to uh, alleviate the Fed's need to raise shorter term rates and kind of go back to a more traditional uh, shaped yield curve with us uh, so while still keeping inflation under control. Yeah, you know, we'll we'll see, obviously, next uh, next meeting, November 1st. Um, and uh, I think market sentiment really is. Uh, you know, as advertised by uh, by a lot of uh, a lot of folks, you know, we're, market is anticipating at least one more cut um, uh, this year. Uh, you know, whether that comes in November or December, to be determined. But uh, but everybody's really looking at every single every single piece of data that comes out and reading into what it might mean uh, going forward. So. Uh, you know that, that if that means a little bit more volatility over the uh, for the remainder of the year, um, that's that's probably the the type of market that we'll be that we'll be living in. And so again, the, all eyes on the on the next piece of economic data, CPI coming out next week. People will uh, see how, what that says about inflation and uh, how that interprets uh, reinterprets their view for the economy. Um, moving over to munis, there were a lot of commentary from uh, market strategists this week talking about the fact that October has historically been a poor performing month for the municipal market just for technical factors. In, uh, issuance tends to increase in October. Uh, demand tends to be flat uh, because there's uh, little cash coming into the market from principal repayments or, or interest payments. Um, how is that playing out so far? Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see how it goes. Uh, you know, with the move in rates, uh, I find it uh, hard to believe based on com conversations that I've had with lots of people in the market that anybody's really anticipating a, a huge uh, dearth of supply at this point. Um, actually, next week, uh, you know, supply ticks down from about eight and a half billion price this week to what's looking like under five billion next week. And a lot of those conversations center around you know, with this interest rate move, refundings are really out of the money. You know, what what little refundings there were are, you know, are, are really drying up. And even some issuers, uh, NFA is kind of taking a look at new money pieces and wondering if there's, you know, if they're better served, uh, waiting out a little bit and and seeing if rates go down a little. Um, so, uh, so there's definitely a little bit of uh, skittishness 
on the supply side. Uh, on the demand side, you know, again, we continue to see that trend of of negative fund flows. Um, but uh, you know, we continue to hear com uh, comments uh, from market participants that we're existing in a world now where cash doesn't really hurt. So it feels like on the institutional buy side. Uh, some folks are, you know, continuing to sit in uh, in cash if they have it, uh, earning pretty high returns uh, on those cash investments. So it really takes a motivating level to to move out the curve and buy longer bonds. Uh, if uh, you know, if you can sit in a money market or uh, and and earn, you know, and not really get hurt by that. So uh, you know, it it definitely feels like you really need to be motivated to do anything one way or the other. Uh, there was a fair amount, you know, one one data point, uh, there was a fair amount of secondary trading volume this week. So, um, you know, whether folks are uh, swapping for tax loss purposes again, uh, or, uh, you know, or, or just uh, shifting deck chairs around, uh, MSRB reported trading volume was elevated uh, for the week. So there is activity. Um, and it's, you know, it's, it's, uh, shedding some light on bid ask spreads and, and seeing what it takes to get trades done. Thanks. And in the, uh, BAM insured market, I think we have about $238 uh, million of new issues priced this week. That was led by Tulpa Hawken area school district in Pennsylvania. That was a uh, $59 million transaction when it came as well as a uh, $49.5 million transaction for the Pasadena economic development corporation down in Texas. Uh, next week's calendar, as you mentioned, is lighter. Uh, one transaction, uh, just to highlight, is uh, the City of Lafayette Utilities uh, Revenue, the City of Lafayette Utilities System is pricing about $50 million of BAM insured revenue bonds. And there will be a BAM Credit Insights video coming up on our YouTube page with Ben O'Malley. So uh, people interested in that transaction should keep an eye on the YouTube page and our social networks. Uh, thanks for your time this week, Brian. We'll uh, check in soon. Thanks, Mike.